All right. Well, let us uh, begin our, our morning uh, ritual. And so I'm going to uh, ask you to just uh, become uh, comfortable where you are and uh, just begin to just settle into your bodies. And let us take our uh, slow, deep breaths and visualize these flowing in and out of our hearts, breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. And experience positive emotions. So just place awareness in the area of the heart. Take slow, deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. And just settle in into this nice, deep breathing technique. You can keep your eyes open. You can keep your eyes closed. Just make sure you take those slow, deep breaths and visualize them flowing in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower, a little gentler than you normally would. You may have some thoughts that come through. Do not engage those thoughts. Just become passive about those thoughts. And just allow them to pass through. They're just stopping by, seeing if the thoughts can engage you. But of course, right now you're focused on breathing, feeling this deep breaths flowing in and out of your heart. And that's what you're busy doing. Those thoughts can just pass by. Slow, deep breaths. And when you visualize these breaths flowing in and out of your heart, you're actually telling your body that you want your heart to actually begin the process of leading. A lot of us, give our brains the majority of the work, whereas the heart can do it much easier, much quicker. And the heart will tell the brain what needs to happen. As a matter of fact, more information goes from the brain to the heart than from the heart to the brain. So why don't we let our hearts do the work, the heavy lifting? In this particular form of breathing te technique, your immune system will be boosted by up to six hours. Just when you do this for five to 10 minutes a day, you begin to reverse your aging process. Beautiful. Wonderful. We will do more of that, I promise you. When the time comes, we'll do more of that. But let us now go into today's uh, session, our five minute, uh, I didn't know that moment. And basically this moment is about the four step system to tame an argument. Now we've all been through many arguments in our lifetime. I am no exception. And there are many times where I have failed to actually uh, manage a conversation because it's going out of hand and uh, I, I panic. So as humans, we always do that. We, we, we sometimes get stuck, but this takes practice. And I wanna show you the four steps to actually tame an argument. So when you feel something's getting heated, there's four steps to take. First step is to ask an open question. So, when you ask an open question, if somebody says, I am really angry at you, I mean, that's a, that's a way to start a, a, an argument uh, and that would trigger us 
if somebody says that to us. You allow this person to now open up and express their feelings. When they express their feelings, uh, that basically is an activity that reduces their emotional charge. Basically what they're doing is you're allowing them to purge and therefore heal. So whenever you ask an open question, you begin the process of allowing them to actually purge the anger, purge the frustration. Then when they feel they've been hurt, and that's the next one, is you say to them, you know, I, I, I can appreciate what you're feeling. I have felt that too uh, many times uh, for people for, who, who are doing that. And also from this conversation, I, I can feel, uh, you know, some of that frustration as well. So I can, I can completely, completely understand where you're coming from in that one so when you ask an open question follow it up with an appreciation or emp empathy empathy statement you have now diffused the anger and the situation now you can have a conversation and now comes time for reflection so reflection talks about so you 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 feel angry when uh when, when you're um, you feel disrespected uh, when these things happen. And it would be just be a matter of fact statement that you don't like being, uh, being uh, disrespected. You don't like somebody telling you what to do. It would just be a, a, a short acknowledgement, a reflection of the basis under, uh, of which they were actually being, uh, being triggered on. When you do that, you will either hear, well, not really, if that's the case, then ask them another open question and go back to uh, item one on your screen. If they say, yes, that's exactly right, you know you've hit the mark, you know they've been acknowledged, and now you can summarize. You can summarize and say, so this is what happened, and it, because of that, you felt uh, frustrated, and because of your frustration, all of these other people uh, kind of were affected in that way. So then they say, yes, that's right. Then you say, can I offer an observation? Can I offer a suggestion? Or can I, can I offer you some, some alternatives uh, for your, to, to address your problem? That's another uh, question that you ask them, but it's a permission. Permission to actually provide your opinion, your input. But th that comes at the end. A lot of times in our arguments, and we actually do, uh, argue with others we jump to number four right away we just we just tell them well you should have done it this way or you should have done it that way and that just escalates the problem in this way what we've got is we've got a situation where we actually diffuse the bomb uh, and and not allow it to go off so to summarize the first thing we want to do until you get a clear yes I completely un uh, you completely get me kind of a look from the other person is to ask an open open-ended question you know, uh, uh, you're, 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 you seem angry. Can you tell me more about what causes that anger in you right now? Can you tell me what about the situation caused you to trigger in this way? That's an open-ended question. Then you say, I can appreciate that. Or you know what, I've been there. Then the reflection is, you really don't like when people abuse dogs. And, and that's just a, a statement you make and they would say, yes, that's, that makes sense. Yes, absolutely. I, you get it. And then you summarize. So, then you kind of summarize in your words, paraphrase in your words, exactly what they were going through. And then you ask, can I offer you some suggestions? Can I offer you this? They may say, no, I, I don't have time right now, which is also perfect because you've helped them diffuse the situation. So that is the four step uh, way to diffuse an argument. And uh, we can talk more about that in the Q&A if you have any questions and we will, uh, we will uh, do that. So now uh, we will go into the uh, next phase of our program, and that is the quick coherence technique. So let us, uh, just like we did before, uh, place our awareness in the area of the heart. Take slow, deep breaths. Visualize these flowing in and out of our hearts. Just breathing slow and gentle. Allowing this, these breaths to flow into your heart. Exhale from your heart. 
and just take these slow deep breaths and now activate a regenerative emotion whatever gives you that feeling that positive vibes so to speak it could be courage it could be love it could be appreciation gratitude perhaps think about the last time that you felt so much love so much compassion so much gratitude and bring that energy and and feeling forward into your heart as you take these slow deep breaths and visualize them flowing in and out of your heart breathing a little slower a little gentler than you normally would Just take those slow, deep breaths. Visualize them flowing in and out of your heart. Experience a positive emotion. Draw that into your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Just feel your body rhythmically moving to your breaths and see if you can connect with the space around you because the space consists of particles that are being charged by the magnetic field that is coming out of your heart with these amazing emotions that you're feeling right now you are actually creating a compassion field that goes well beyond you just with these three steps all right excellent well thank you for participating really appreciate you uh, joining us this morning Monday morning espresso shot um, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and I look forward to uh, to seeing you next week if you have any questions we'd love to hear um, uh, questions and I'm happy to answer uh, Lou has a question which I'll, I'll uh, now uh, move into that area so Lou your question is someone is really mad at me I say to them when was the last time you felt this anger issue they'll probably clobber me over the head as they want to deal with this irritant not add on to it by remembering previous issues did I understand this you're absolutely correct if somebody's angry at you uh, you don't say when was the last time because they're angry with you right now but if they're expressing an anger angry with you your open question may be what makes you angry right now you know it's not it's not uh, when was the last time it, it's happening now so what makes you angry right now uh, what are some of the things that, are, that, that make you angry so point them in that direction as well uh, and, 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 and see what opens up for you, Lou. That's a very good question. Uh, it's, it's not just any open question. It's, it's an open question that's in the moment that reflects what's going on. So like I said, there's a, there's a bit of practice that needs to happen in that process. 
So uh, there are programs, and I've certainly got one program that uh, I'm launching with Maya that starts this Sunday. Uh, there are some seats available at uh, the $44 tickets, I think, uh, or they might be out. I don't know. Uh, you can check. I'll, uh, you have the link in your email. But that's something that uh, we'll be practicing over 21 days is to actually do the, you know, connect with people, how to have conversations, and then see if we can break through the, the impasse that happens in arguments. And that's one of the aspects we're going to be tackling. So it takes this heart focus breathing and coherence building technique to another level. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Lou. A any other questions that we can ask? No? Right. Thank you, Lou. Thank you for your comments. You'll try it. Wonderful. Yeah. So remember, it's the open question, any open question uh, that is that fits the context of the, of the discussion. So please do try it. Would love to hear how that worked for you.